welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today, from Simply Learn, we are going to do the third free practice test. In the past, we did with Minitab. Also, we did with Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. 100 questions we went through. And today, we are going to do it Black Belt. And this is also happens to be the third one of Lean Six Sigma Black Belt. And it's also free. And I will keep this link in the description, both the parent link. Uh, as you can recall that under quality management system, there were four free practice tests were available. And uh, in this, I will keep this link in the parent uh, parent link. Also, I will keep this link also as well. This is specific to black belt practice as such. So it says that 5,000 people have already taken this uh, exam. And let's see that. So pretty much the same conditions free test and can be attempted multiple times 180 minutes so that means we have to complete within three hours and 100 multiple choice questions you can pass the test in between and you can allow to retake the test later also as well so let me go in go and have a key in my uh, details fill the details to get started so why i'm taking this test self-learning or knowledge validation So here we go. The first question, the purpose of Six Sigma is to what? Reduce the variation. So defects and all come since lean. So to reduce the variation, main purpose of Six Sigma. Let's go to the next question. What is Six Sigma? And Six Sigma is business fellows are focusing on improvement, like continual improvement or continuous improvement, you can call it. And then the third questions, here we go. So DMAC, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. DFSS stand for, this is also very simple questions. Design, design for Six Sigma. And then you have fifth question. Six Sigma level can be achieved by having less than 3.4 defect per million opportunity. And what is DMA DV? You all know DMA DV is all about define, measure, analyze, design, and verify. Is also called in the previous question design for Six Sigma. The seventh question is. The purpose of toll gate review is to confirm if the earlier phase was completed. For example, let's say you're in measured phase where the defined phase is completed to get the formal sign off, review the progress and kick off and all the above. So all the above. Eighth one. What is the primary role of master black belt? Right. So master black belt, the primary one is to coach, mentor, train. Not that. Ninth one. And which role perform the following responsibilities? Ivan Gilles Six Sigma provide resource and resolve any cross functional issues. Right. So that is a role of champion. Tenth question. A black belt is expected to deliver what type of result from Six Sigma project? Right. So the main thing is at least 200 K USD dollar per saving. And then the 11th one, the purpose of capturing the voice of customer is to what? To capture stated unstated requirement, right? Those requirement is to capture. That's what the voice of customer capturing the voice of customer. 12th one. And in which role is a full time professional to lead the large Six Sigma project? Full time is a black belt. And then the next question What is the role of black belt in dealing with organizational roadblocks? Communicating the benefit of Six Sigma, changing the efforts, and building the confidence in the team, create a culture, all these you can go on and say, right? So this is the one. And 14th one is why do black belt and master black belt conduct closed loop assessment of Six Sigma implementation? 
So to ensure that all aspects of Six Sigma have been implemented. And what kind of Koro Shikawa developed? The cause and effect. This is a simple question. And what is the best mechanism to collect the VOC data? Right? So VOC data, voice of customer, you can do a survey, questionnaire, and all that. And then the next question, which of the following tools can be used by a team to prioritize the list of options to improve? Right. So you can do, for example, list of options you have. You have a variety of options. Then so brainstorming is something you are just collecting the raw data and then cost effect. You already have that effect and you're trying to diagnose the causes and five way you already have the causes and then further you wanted to do that. So now nominal group technique is the one which to prioritize the list of options. And what is SWOT is very simple. Strength, weakness, opportunity, threats. And 19th question. The primary factor in the successful implementation of Six Sigma is to execute executive com commitment and support. What is a continual improvement process? So you when you say study, you study the process made to improve existing process and then continually improve. What type of control chart uh, one would typically use for analyzing positional uh, and you have a cylindrical and sorry, cy uh, cyclical, sorry, cy cyclical and temporal variation. So you have a all these kind of variations you have, then you can perhaps use that better option is SPC because yes, SPC uh, multivariant charts you can use, of course, SPC statistic process control. I, again, if the process is stable, you can use it. Cause and effect diagram is completely different and run chart is also different. And next question. And uh, the next question is, if you need to collect the data to analyze the symptoms of a problem, what will be the most appropriate tool, right? So in this, uh, in these questions, the one is flowchart, FMA, force field analysis, or check sheet is the one, the best one, because all the CTQs you can just capture. And the purpose of having functional requirement is to provide details on how product or service needs to operate. Increasing performance six sigma from three to four sigma, right? Would reduce a defect per million up um, per million by a factor of what? So ten times it will definitely, uh, you know, reduce. So how we can see? So now we are talking about. Yeah, we are talking about three sigma. Three sigma will give you sixty six thousand. And then from three sigma, you're going to let's say four sigma and six, the same thing from 66,000 to only 6,000, right? So 10 times lower we will get it. In a cost and effect diagram, so some of the major categories are mother nature, management, measurement system, the following four standard causes. So you all know, this is also a very simple question man material method machines. The next question, to monitor the number of defects and different sample size, which of the following control chart is most appropriate? U chart, why? Because you have a defect with the different samples. If it is defective, you can use P chart or NP chart, the, depending upon the sample size. And then what are the five element of KZN? So the five element of KZN is teamwork and personal discipline, improve morale, quality circle, suggestions for improvement and so on. What are the five lean principle? Identify the value, map the value, value stream, create the flow, establish, pull, 
and seek perfections. The measurement accuracy is attained when, when the measurement value has a little deviation from the actual one. That is, we in the, we take measurement system analysis. Let, that means, let's say GRR we are talking about less than ten percentage variation is acceptable, right? So the goal is to have a little deviations. In normal distribution, only sixty percentage of the data will occur when you all know plus or minus one sigma. In FMA exercise, the risk priority number calculated as severity, occurrence, and detection. Severity S is missing, severity, occurrence, and detection. Which of the following activities value added activity? Right? Yesterday in the green belt, also we saw this example. So this is process. What does lean help you with? Lean, lean is something eliminating the muda, reducing the non-value added. And we want to test the performance of people before and after training. Which of the following tests can be used if the training improved worker? Right? Paired a t-test is the most robust one. Yesterday in the green build also we saw this example. And then the next one, which of the following is a chart that depicts the frequencies of measurement system, right? So you have histogram. The purpose of using the control chart is to evaluate the process performance over time. And then the next question, design for tests is a design technique that offers benefit of what? Benefit of defect diagnosis you will be able to do and all that. What does DFMAEA design? And design, DFMAEA is actually you all know, design failure mode effect analysis. Which chart is used to prioritize the highest overall score received as part of CE matrix? Pareto, vital and trivial concept. And what does what of the following is a basic precondition for Six Sigma to succeed? So precondition is it has to be a well-defined process. What is CIPOC stand for? This is also an easy question. Supplier input process output and customer. Which question needs to be asked before preparing CIPOC? Right? So you have to ask the stakeholder input and then generally the input for a process, what resources it uses, everything. And what are the various type of measurement scales? Right? So you have a nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Nominal is no natural ordering can be done. And ordinal, something can order can be done. One, two, three, right? And like nominal, let's say gender. Interval data, you have, you know, that start and end, uh, for example, temperature, right? Ratio, ratio is also, these are all the measurement data. And what does nominal measurement define classify the presence or absence of certain attribute, right? Nominal is only no natural can be done. So you, you cannot do so presence or absence of certain attribute. Which measurement scale is a comparative scale of measurement right? for, for management. So which measurement scale is a comparative scale of management? This is also one of the very good questions. So, ordinal something you can do ard order the data. You can easily manage, right? What does ratio scale define? All the true value must be zero. Data can be categorized into which of these division? Continuous data, discrete data, attribute data, and all of the above, yeah. 
and uh, we are going to the 48th one which of the most popular and most often used for central tendency in the six sigma application most commonly used for when you say central tendency right so it's uh, it's a tricky question which of the most popular the popular one is the mean because we are not talking about whether the outlier whether there is a non normal data we are simply saying that what is the most popular is mean and the next question is which measure of central tendency in six sigma application should be used when the data has an outlier median and what are the measure of dispersion dispersion is range for example maximum minus very uh, minus uh, maximum minus minimum variation you can you know the formula for variation standard deviation the square root of variance is standard deviation so this is the dispersion we are halfway through we have done with the 50 question let's go to the 50 more questions by which tool can we measure that measurement system accuracy be verified you can use with the uh, msa in the msa you can use gauge rnr measurement system analysis gauge repeatability and reproducibility what are the different categories of in which a measurement system error can be classified you have a resolutions problem accuracy problem or or the precision problem and what are the three components associated with the measurement system you know that this is it's also simple questions uh, stability bias and linearity and what are the two components associated with the measurement system precision repeated reproducibility and stability and reproducibility which one of these is not a property of a good measurement system like bias Uh, no, this is a question we need to solve. A standard with a known value of 25.5, 25.4 uh, mm is checked 10 times by one mechanical inspector using a dial caliber and with the resolution of 0 0.025 and the readings are, this is the reading and the tolerance of this 125 calculate the bias and percentage of bias. So I have already worked out uh, this particular sum and the answer is 0 0.05 and also we can say one percentage is the bias percentage bias value is 0 0.05 so which chart indicates the part variation x bar r chart and then the next question is what formula is used when measure the total process variation in terms of gauge and parts and all that square root of this one what is a gauge variation in terms of repeatability reproducibility and so on this also like square root you will do basically in a square right What is the percentage of threshold GRR which the gauge needs to be replaced? 0.3, that is 30 percentage and above, right? So we have to replace. Even this also not okay, this also not okay. But minimum is this one. While selecting a sample, what rule should you govern your choice? Determine the sample size using the formula and there is something called confidence intervals and then you also have a get like standard deviation or the uh, current rate so you can do that so this is the samples you need to keep in mind while you take the samples these are all the factors to consider who is the process expert that does the rating of the sample is okay or defective or not master appraiser or we can call them as uh, in the mini tab it is called appraiser or master appraiser what does spc stand for 
you all know st SPC stand for statistic process control. What does is EEM stand? You know, standard error of mean. Which of the following is not capability index for continuous data, right? For when you say continue, it's not capable, uh, is which of the following is not a cap capability index for continuous data? Process performance, right? You can do capability, you can do index, you can do ratio, but you will not be able to find out process performance. And then the next question, what is the formula for calculating process capability? This is also very simple. And USL minus LSL by six into sigma, our standard deviation. How do you derive the process capital index CPK once you have that you know lower and upper limit? So minimum you will take and then you do it. When the when the mean is not center, what does it mean? It means that CPK is having a greater than CP. Which one of the act which one of these activities should ideally come first in the implementation of a measure phase? So measure phase is all about rechecking, validations and all that, residuations and all. And in a typical MSA, gauge 42 is it, right? What does it mean? It means that you have to send for calibration, check the operator variation, identify the part variation, part to part variation. Yeah. And the tool that you typically use in the measure stage is to what? What is that the tool name? The tool name is in the measure phase, you can very well use SIPOC. Right, these other tools you can use it in other phases. Which one of these is the most important precursor for calculating capability? Right, so process has to be stable. And which of these measure would do you normally associate with the process capability of discrete data? So DPMO and PPM. Defect per million opportunity and PPM. We also saw these uh, questions in the green belt also as well. The next question. Which of the following method directly helps you determine the batch size? So EPEI, that is called every part, every interval. Every part, every interval. Which type of chart is appropriate? The sample size is variable and sample may contain more than one instance of targeted conditions. So you chart again, it is similar to the previous question, which in the past in the previous questions, which we saw. What is the purpose of PERT analysis during the analysis of phase analysis phase of DMEC? PERT is to this is the very important technique uh, which helps to identify the critical path of a process. Which form of leveling typically includes the use of Hygenka? Hygenka is for product, leveling the product. While performing monthly reviews in control chart one, in control chart, one of your production unit, you observe that 50 points are very near to the center line. All of them appear to be within about one sigma of the center line. What interpretation you derive from this? That means that uh, the process standard deviation has decreased during the last month since 50 percentage are showing the value much closer to the center line. That's but nobody thought to recompute the control limit to reflect the new reality. In an analysis of variance, how is that F statistic use? 
to compare the mean square treatment when the mean square error has gone. Flow of an activity that includes value added as well as non-value added, which, which take the raw material and deliver the product, uh, deliver the end product to the customer is called value stream mapping. And also you have value enabled also as well. And which of these following is called Varusa Kagan conditions? Mura, Mura, Muri are also called Toyota production model. Tremendous resistance can be expected in which value stream mapping? Muda. Muda is faced, right? And then the next one, what does close met stand for? Close meant complexity. C is missing. Complexity, labor, ore production, process, energy, defect, material, ideal time, time, transportation, and all that. C for complexity, labor, ore production, space, energy, material, and then ideal time. And then you have two T, one T for ideal time and time time itself or transportation safety hazard. Spaghetti chart gra graphically depicts the movement of dash and dash in a process product and people. What does C? diagram stand for cause and effect box plot is known set whisker plot it has a different different name candlestick box and whisker and all the above which kind of information does box plot provide box plot provide the locations and how the data is spread and the variability of the data and everything. And this is quartile also, you'll get the value, quartile one, two, three, not that. And what does KPIV, key process input variable? It also says key process input variable or key process input value. To design for manufacturability, the following method are introduced except what? Product quality is held above simplicity. In a limitation in Six Sigma implementation is when management applies the methodology is called in a few department within the company. In scenario where one response variable, one predictor variable are to be tested, which regression analysis you can use? Simple linear regression, you can use it. When the multiple linear regressions are there, you have to have at least one key process output variable and two key process input variable. Ninety third one dash shows the extent to which the multicolonality exists between predictors, right? So that is variation in that is called VIF variation inflation factor that is possible in the multi regression. What tests the presence? What tests for the presence of autocorrelation between residuals? There have been what's and statistic also we can use it. There are many statistic at present, but this is also we can use it for sure. And now we are going with the 95th question. What does press in press statistics stand for? 
predicted residual sum of square. Which regression procedure are used? Stepwise. Stepwise, standard, stepwise, forward, backward, you can do. This is a com one commonly used also as well. What is confidence interval? This is also a very simple question. Estimate the range of value which is likely to include the parameter of the population. 98 to 1. Which factor impacts the confidence intervals for a simple data, sample data, significance level and sample size? Which statistic can be used to determine the probability of variance occurring? Chi-square. The last question, here we go. For a population variance of one, sample variance of collected data is 0.6 depend the probability that the sample variance can exceed 0.6 sample is 30 i have already done this one so the answer is 17.4 that's it we have done with this let's see how much marks we have got wow congratulations we have got 100 out of 100 and you can also i will keep this link also as well as i said in the in the beginning and you can also perhaps go through the view explanation also as well just click on this you get all the answers and everything i will keep this pdf also as well if you would like to have i can send this pdf along with the answer key everything please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day